الرحمن الرحيم Dear brothers and sisters, peace be upon you all Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is the last episode in which we speak about Sahih al-Bukhari and Al-Imam al-Bukhari, the author of this great work and the soundest book any human being ever wrote. Today we're going to talk about uh, the benefits of studying Sahih al-Bukhari in that style of narration, oral narration. I personally noticed throughout 50 years of my studies and uh, teaching that there is a lack of adab in the study of sacred knowledge of the Sharia. And uh, this is due to universities and professors and also degeneration of manners and behavior. So we tried to revive this. This is quite important here. Reviving the tradition of Isnad, number one, because knowledge should be taken from teachers, not from the internet and not from books only. You bring your book and you go to the teacher. That's how you pick up knowledge. You don't take the book and sit at home without a teacher. And you have to connect yourself. This is your lineage in knowledge. So tell me, who is your teacher? Tell me who is the teacher of your teacher, for example, and I will tell you your lineage back to the Prophet ﷺ. Even if I don't know you, if I don't know your teacher, I will ask you about the teacher of your teacher, then I will know your lineage to the Prophet ﷺ by sailing throughout all these branches of Isnads. It is very important that we revive this tradition. Imagine you sitting in few sessions for 10 days, let's say, listening to Sahih al-Bukhari from beginning to end. Angels surrounding the sessions. You heard the soundest hadith of the Prophet If you are a student or a scholar, then any hadith you're asked about in the future, it is in Sahih al-Bukhari. You remember it is in Sahih al-Bukhari. You can't make mistakes because the teacher makes sure that it is the perfect recitation. The Prophet was the most eloquent of all Arabs and his hadith should be recited in the most eloquent way. So there is no way for you to make a mistake in a hadith, in a word, or even name of a narrator. Let alone familiarizing yourself with this wealth of knowledge mentioned about seerah, about virtues, about uh, rulings, fiqh rulings, about tafsir al-Quran, and then knowing the various ranks of the narrators, you would know a sahabi who is a sahabi and who his father was also a sahabi, who is a tabi'i, the major students of the sahaba, and who are the teachers of sahih, of Imam al-Bukhari, etc. This is why we need to revive the tradition of uh, teaching Sahih al-Bukhari. We finished teaching Sahih al-Bukhari recently in Istanbul and we did uh, also in July 2019 recitation of Sahih al-Bukhari in Manchester. We did this also several times before, alhamdulillah, in the USA, in Damascus. And those who attended Sahih al-Bukhari should go out and uh, spread the knowledge of Sahih al-Bukhari and teach it in mosques and bring people back to this tradition. The tradition of oral narration and the tradition of sitting in front of scholars and connecting yourself to these great lineages of knowledge, Asameed. Allah bless you all. Barakallahu feekum. Thank you for following up uh, all these uh, episodes. Uh, it has been a great opportunity to talk to you. And although I don't see you, but I pray for you, inshallah. I know that many of you have followed up from beginning to end and those who joined even for one episode, may Allah reward you and bless you and your family. And most importantly, May Allah reward Imam al-Bukhari on our behalf and his teachers and his students and those scholars who served Sahih al-Bukhari from his time till our time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.